everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and today we're making the most popular cake on my blog. It's a strawberry cake and it's layer after layer of fresh strawberries, a lightly sweetened whipped frosting and my famous European sponge cake. The flavors are fantastic and it's so easy to make. You all are gonna love it. Start by slicing the cake layers in half. To do this, score the edges and then slice all the way through. This is my easy four ingredient sponge cake and I'll leave a link to the video tutorial in the notes below. To make your strawberry filling, cut one pound of fresh strawberries into halves or quarters and put them in the bowl of a food processor or blender. Pulse those together until you have a chunky applesauce consistency. Let's get started on the frosting. Pour one cup of cold, heavy whipping cream into the bowl of your mixer and beat that on high speed for one to two minutes or until it's thick and spreadable. Transfer the whipped cream to a separate dish. In the same mixing bowl, combine 16 ounces of softened cream cheese with 3 fourths cup of sugar. Beat those together on high speed for two minutes, scraping down the bowl as needed. Once it's smooth and lump-free, fold in the whipped cream. That looks perfect and it's time to assemble the cake. Place your first cake layer on a serving platter and spread with one-third of the strawberry puree. Now spread about half a cup of frosting onto the second cake layer and place it over the first layer so the strawberries and cream are hugging. Repeat this process with the remaining cake layers. I am telling you guys, the crazy amount of strawberry in this cake makes it perfectly moist and so delicious. Now cover the top and sides of the cake with the remaining frosting and smooth it out. Let's set the cake aside and quickly make our decorative chocolate topping. Line a baking sheet or cutting board with a piece of parchment paper. Melt 1 3rd cup of chocolate chips. I microwave them for 40 seconds. Transfer your smooth melted chocolate to a Ziploc bag, snip off the edge and start piping the chocolate onto your parchment paper. Transfer your chocolate to the freezer and let it chill for at least 5 minutes. There are two different patterns you can use to decorate the base of the cake. A or B. I like using just the ends because it holds up longer, especially if you're making the cake a day ahead. I always thought adding the chocolate and fresh strawberries to the top made this cake completely charming. For the best part of the show, the taste test. I'm gonna cut right into this beautiful cake. Ooh, look at those layers, wow. I love that pop of fresh strawberry flavor against that lightly sweetened whipped cream. It's perfectly moist and absolutely delicious. Seriously though, even if somebody were to make this cake ugly, not you, someone else, <laughs> it would still turn out amazing. You can't go wrong. Make this for your next party and you will love it. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up below. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get all of our future videos and thanks for watching.